Good evening, everybody. Welcome back to the Night Blood Shop. Tonight, we got a little revisit of the old Marco 100. If you remember from my original video or not, this is one of my personal amps. Um, we're just doing kind of a revisit here now that I got some better equipment and the bench is completely redone um, since I originally filmed this. So I wanted to go back and refilm and show this one again on the updated equipment in here so um, if you remember back like I said this is one of my personal amps I don't really use it much it just kind of sits in the collection but it does work I have used it it talks really well um, originally we had some problems in the keying circuit the keying circuit it was getting stuck and it would not let go so uh, we rebuilt the keying circuit in this amp um, I don't remember the original power numbers on it, but it was really weak. So we replaced a few parts, same pills, but we were in their uh, Motorola's in this one. Um, but we um, replaced some other stuff, retuned it, and got it running a lot better. And I just kind of brushed up a little bit here and there on the inside this time around so it's just a little bit better yet than what it was last time actually so let's show you what we're doing here now down, as always 25 watts in reverse 1000 forward neither one of those are the right slugs for what we're running but it's all I got <laughs> um, yeah by all rights to do this properly I should have a 5 watt slug showing reflect I do not have one same thing here a thousand watt slug for that little lamp is way too much but I don't have anything else so <laughs> we're gonna use what we got and roll and once again we are using the bench radio Cobra 29 which was built right here in the night blood shop it does have variable power of course MOSFET final receive upgrades, wideband audio on the transmit and receive side both. Power, I left it pretty tame because it is the bench radio. I mean, I do talk on it. That's why all the other upgrades are done because I do talk on it and do use it from time to time besides just on the bench. I put it on the air every once in a while. So, But power-wise, I left it really tame because like I said, it is just the bench radio for testing purposes only. <laughs> um... It uh, does about 30 peak and 8 watts average. So, like I said, we, that's low for a MOSFET, as many of you know, but we left it pretty tame for what we're dealing with it. So, because a lot of what I'm working work on is smaller amps, and we don't really need too much hotter of a radio than that for small amps. So, we're going to start in average, as always, 25 watts in reverse, top scale. On this side, thousand watts we are in average mode one exposition let's do it hello audio hello audio okay 60 watts average our average didn't really change too much from the last um, time we showed you this amp still about 60 now let's show you PEP Hello, audio. Hello, audio. We are going to call that 145. Not too bad. 60 watts average. 145 PEP out of a couple of little MRFs. I don't remember which ones anymore are in there. I forgot it. I just had it open and I already forgot. But they're Motorola's, I know that. <laughs> anyway, before I butcher this any more than I already have, there you have it. The old Marco 100. 60 average. 145 PEP. Ready to rock and roll. Back to the shelf with the collection. <laughs> Thanks everybody for watching. 
I am the High Plains Drifter. Until next time, peace and chicken grease.